Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the explorer.exe system call failed error you're coming across on your Windows computer. So this could definitely be a frustrating issue. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully address it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to start by right-clicking on a blank area of our taskbar. And then select Task Manager. Now you want to go ahead and locate the Explorer or Windows Explorer process. So you want to scroll down on this list here until you find Windows Explorer. You want to right click on it and then select Restart. The screen might go black for a moment so just don't be concerned. Once you're done with that, close out of here and hopefully that would have been able to resolve your problem. If not, we can go ahead and move on to the next step of this process and that would be to go ahead and open up the Start menu, type in CMD best match to go back with command prompt. You want to right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now I'm going to have a couple commands in the description of my video. I want you guys to copy the first one that starts with DISM and just highlight over it, control C or right click and copy and then go up to the top bar of the command prompt window, right click on it, left click on edit and then left click on paste to paste it in. Hit enter on your keyboard. This will begin running this utility, which will take a few minutes to run. So just please be patient.
Okay, so once this first command is done, I'm going to have another command in the description of the video, so sfc space forward slash scan now. You can type it in if you want, but I'm just going to paste it in here and then I'm going to hit enter. So this will take a few minutes to run as well, so please be patient. Okay, so once Windows Research Protection did not find any integrity violations, that's good. With it just restarting your computer nonetheless, maybe it did in your case, and that should hopefully be about it. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.